Hello, today I would like to present you my recent purchase that I made for my solar installation. It is a high current DC switch with a great isolation feature. It is made from a company that I like that is called Victron Energy and because of that I fully believe that all of those ratings are going to be genuine. Some time ago I purchased resetable fuels with idea in mind of using it as a disconnect switch. You just press the reset and it should disconnect the load. But you can see the video from tear down and it fail after couple clickings in my hand and we tear it down and it was definitely not rated for the current. So yeah, I would go with a genuine, even if that was more expensive option. Yeah, let's quickly browse through all ratings. First, we've got a cranking rating up to 10 seconds. And as you can see, it can pick up over 1000 amp. Then we've got the intermittent rating that can go up to five minutes and we can use 455 amp which is absolutely crazy high value. So if you've got like a inverter and you would like to just boil a tea, then if you can make it under five minutes, then no problem. And we've got the continuous rating of 275 amp, which is absolutely beautiful. And the input maximum voltage of 48 volts. Terminal stats are in the metric M10. And this is how it present. Just in case you would be interested, here is the model number. It was quite expensive, but I told to myself that this is something that will going to last. I will swap the battery. I might swap inverter, but this is going to basically stay forever unless it's going to break. So it was well worth the money. Here you can see the first great isolation feature that allow you to remove that battery knob. And I will tell you interesting idea that I've got. Here you've got a drilling template so you can cut it off. You can mark where to drill. And it can be mounted as you can see in a different configuration on the wall and under if you've got like a panel. And here is a simple configuration and you've got the recommended sizing to get the full rated current. Here you can see we've got a marking that is being called battery one. With that said, you've got a lot of labels. Each of them got a different name. Plus you've got one that is totally empty and you can write something by yourself with a sharpie so as you can see you can customize it and you've got the very common one right now we are in the off position as you can see it is a beefy unit yes i've got it already cut you've got remove if we go over here then we can remove our knob and this is extremely nice option if we would like to isolate some circuitry or you can imagine that you are going to get two batteries that are different chemistry attached to one inverter and you want to never them being connected at the same time then you can get one cap like this have a second switch without it and then physically require someone to go from one into second one and that one is always off because you're just going to get a one cap so you can create a safety interlock and now you can switch the other exactly the same switch but in normal mode of operation now the cap will not go and here we've got our on and as you can hear it's got a really nice positive switch here you've got some information. The plastic is really heavy duty. On each side you've got that panel that you can cut or you can remove completely. This is 
how it presents. This is how it looks the uncut. Here is the bottom part. You can leave it, you can remove it as you want. Here you can see one of those panels. If you would like to remove it completely, then absolutely no problem at all. But you can take it out and just cut to fit your need, just like we done here. And now you have ability to route wire. Uh, let's pretend for a moment that we would like to wire it up. I've got that beefy cable and on one end we've got the M10 and that side go toward our switch. On other end I've got that beautiful copper bus bar. Yeah, it is a really heavy duty. So we are going to just undo those female nuts and here we've got the spring washer then we go like this or maybe even we can go like that if that's going to be flush yeah maybe maybe don't do that that way let's go like this and in a normal mode of operation because this is just a demonstration on my desk we are going to be using a range that's got ability to set force and in the user manual we've got the information that we should not exceed that 12.5 newtonometers and with our bus bar exactly the same situation we can make all the arrangement we do not have to use that output we can just take it out and we can use that one we go with the spring washer and we are nicely securing it like this if we would be doing that live then of course we need to have a insulating insulated tools but in my case i've got absolutely no problem doing it like that this is how it presents we can turn our power on you just go like this and we've got nice flow we can stop our flow by going into off if we would like to not only de-energize our circuit but for example for working we can go into remove and we can secure it and now our system is nicely locked out so this is how it presents in my personal opinion absolutely beautiful great purchase so thank you very much for watching i hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye